And we're back with another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator. I am your host, the RPG guy. Let's get to it. So we get another little thing there that keeps reminding me for some reason what I'm supposed to be doing. It's like, well, I kind of know what I'm supposed to be doing. So back evil doer. Um, I figure we work on this rig first. Since the parts should be at the back of the list. Whoops. Yeah. And we know it's not the most expensive parts that we have. So. Alright, let's get to it. So, power supply, storage. I must have bought one of these by accident. Well, we'll, we'll shove it in another machine at some point. This is the dude who wants all NZXT stuff. Hence the weird motherboard. The motherboard of inferior quality. Uh, storage. Yeah, I must have bought that one by accident. We'll, we'll find a use for it. Graphics cards. One of the beasts. Uh, processor, processor. Boom. Boom. Oh, shoot. I should have... Wait, is liquid cooling required? It's not. I knew I... Yeah, well, we'll, we'll save this. Yeah, but we will throw in the Kraken. What kind of Kraken? The Bot Kraken. The Bot Kraken. Yar. Um... Memory... So, ooh, I guess I went with 4 and 4, ah, 3, 8, 66, which is the speed of this motherboard. That's what happens when you take a couple days off uh, in order to re record a different game you're doing. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. We buy any case fans? No. I could throw this in here to get rid of it. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, I could because we could remove this. And we have a cheaper one that's worth like 10 bucks. Uh. I believe we're good. Let's go ahead and close her up. Boot her up. Stick that ram in her pooter. Boom. Perfect. All right. Now, this is the beast rig that we were going to build. Oh, that was quick. Um, do 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 do. Now, we don't need to actually do anything more. This rig is pretty much done. We just need to run the other stoof, as they say. Um, we just need to make sure that it's uh, a competent system. Everything's hooked up on this? Yeah. So we don't have to, you know, we don't have to do any upgrading of the performance or anything of it like that. So that that's really what's going to make that relatively easy. But what I kind of want to know is the performance of this rig, just based solely on this RAM change. So this is fast, faster RAM, or the fastest RAM we can even buy. But it's not going to be 64 gigs, right? It's going to be 30, 32 gigs. But the RAM is faster, so I want to kind of see if that has anything to do with performance. But the only difference is, is I didn't go with this full system similarity. I've already forgotten what the last rig's performance kind of was, so that doesn't help my 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 discovery either. I'd have to go and look back in the video and see, like the the old footage, and check it out. But oh well, it is what it is. Cooling doesn't fit. 
No! Mm. Stop. Hopefully it fits over here. I don't know if we have the extra money, though. Store, uh, cooling. It says it fits here. With seven dollars remaining, so we lucked out. But what we need to do is take this out because we need. I don't think I put the uh, liquid cooling gel on it. The thermal paste, whatever. Not the liquid cooling gel. The thermal paste. That's what I meant. That way we're not out the money on this. Now we'll run the test again. It's for the greater good. The greater good. All right. Um, well, I ain't going to fit on the back, and it probably won't fit above me. So, cooling. Yeah, it won't even go to the top rack for some reason. Okay. Um, graphics cal. No, oh, storage. One of these beasts. I do think we have an extra fan. May as well get rid of it. Since we'll get full cash for it. Okay, that should all be done. Boot her up. Boom. Run this. And because it's such a strong, powerful machine, we'll run that too. Because it's always kind of fun to run it. 66, 62. So that's not bad for a rig we really did no changes or enhancements for. Boop. Also, I'm going to mention something while this is running its course. I figured out what was wrong with the other rig that I was working on and why it was not registering as complete is the email did say it was dusty and clogged. So what I did was, for like three minutes, blast the air canister, and I guess I must have missed one little piece of freaking dust. One piece of dust! And that was what was keeping it from being finished, which is silly, but that was what was literally keeping it from being finished. Let's go ahead and save the game. And let's turn these guys in. We should level, too, most likely. Sweet. 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 Now you can see that experience bar moving a lot slower. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti's. So let's take a look at those 1080 Ti's. So these are some beastly... Okay, now we're getting into the 11 gigs. So, theoretically... If we go to graphics cards, we should have some new ones that are better than this. But they're, they're 11 gig. But we need to double check with the part ranking guide. 1080 Ti Gaming. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so here's what we can do. I think we can finish one of these. This one. So, let me see here. Uh, budget is $900. What's in here? One video card. So, let's let's try this. We know this is done. 14847. 
We'll, we'll turn in the other rigs right now before we finish and even work on this other one. Let's power this down. And let's collect. Yay! Ooh, new part. Silverstone, uh, 110, uh, 1100 watt power supply. So we could even got a better power supply there. Okay, so. And we don't know what's wrong with this one. Our, it's a RAM, but we don't know exactly how many sticks. Okay, and even if we did, it's not worth digging around right now. All right, so I want to do this because this has been holding us back for quite a while. Let us um, pay 100 bucks to have it delivered now. We've had this quest... For a long time. Since we were level 17, we must have had it. So the fact that we're finally getting the parts for this is actually pretty good. But that all And it also means we're getting a used... Uh, no, it's registering as new, but we technically got to use one of those cards. All right, let's boot this up. Technically, there's oh, only 30 bucks remaining. So we now have a better, plausibly better card here. Let us run everything else. Did it? It says it's an upgraded card, so it just took freaking forever to actually get access to the better card. Um, I don't want to juice it up too much, so let's just leave it alone. I don't want to juice it because the power supply is only 650 watt, because that was one of the best we had at the time for the price. So maybe he'll come back and want us to rework on this. But now that that's working, we'll let that run its course. But we'll finally be able to turn this one in. But we got this one. It says level 25. Oh, we got it, and it's a required level 25. We're not level 25 yet, so we've been sitting on this dude's computer waiting for this level to uh, reveal itself. But I want to say it wasn't a level 1 as much as it was with uh, Stars of Difficulty. Now we're hitting very soon. We're hitting thirty-eight thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. We could do the spot, and I just realized, and I didn't think about this when we did it, but we can change the name of the repair store. So let's change it now. Jack Tard. Pr uh, <laughs> Prawn. PC. Repair. And. Sex shop, no. Jack Tard Prawn PC Repair. Yes. And there we go. That's what we get for buying more of the company from the relative. We finally, at that percentage, I think it was 10%, got to rename the company Jack Tard Prawn PC Repair. And we can change it whenever we want. All right, so without any boosting, seventy-eight sixteen. That's not a bad system for a for a very old system. That's not bad, since we built this computer back when we were like level seventeen. So that's not bad at all. So let's dump that off. Let's make a save because I'm I'm worried that we're gonna get a low star rating for finishing this, but you, we shouldn't because the technology didn't exist, and we didn't get busted for it. So there it is. Finally, getting rid of one of those shitty, shitty ones. And we get even an even better uh, 1080, which is a gigabyte variant of it, is it not? Uh, yeah, so we get the 11 gig equivalent. So this is, you know, but look at the wattage on these guys. Easily 500 watts just to run them. And the size of these guys is good. This is, it's hard to say which, the founder cards, uh, usually uh, you can overclock them higher than this one can f go overclock. So technically I would say this is the better card if you have the wattage to, to overclock with. Um, but yeah, anyway, sweet. So now we just have these two repair jobs. I'm glad to get rid of one of those old ones. I really am, you guys. It's It feels good to get rid of one of those jobs we were sitting on forever. It just means that we won't be able to do that other guy until we hit, like, level 25. So let's go ahead and end the day. We'll get the two computers in that are being uh, discussed here. Ooh, a nice big power supply. A nice empty case. 
It's a tiny one. Ooh, we should do something with that. Because we have a tiny motherboard. Yeah, we have a tiny motherboard. It's an AM4. What else do we have here? Storage. We have used storage. We've got a power supply. We've got graphics cards. Oh, yes! Memory. We have memory that we can throw in there. Mother. We get cooling. And we have... Well, not. we just don't have a processor. So for this guy, we're going to put in literally the cheapest little AM4 processor. But let's go ahead and put the motherboard in there so I don't forget. And we'll put anything else we want in there. We can fit a video, one video card, so dual carding is completely pointless. Um, and we just got to figure out what we want to put in there. Um, I'm probably not going to put anything too impressive, but we'll see. I don't. I know we don't have two sticks of RAM accessible, but we also have this 3200. Oh no, that's for a repair uh, job. Um, 16 gig, 16.88. They're all at 32. So what's the lowest performance one we have is this. Really is this at 2,800. You know what? Let's throw, we'll just throw it in there. Just to get that out of there. I know it's a lot of memory, but it's not fast memory. Um, so that's, that's really my rationale for it. I, we can't put dual cards in here. So we can only put a card in that fits, and the only one we have is this, Sheen one. So we'll just put in the Sheen one, because we haven't seen a lot of used Sheen parts in a while, so it's probably better that we get rid of it. Um, and all that's missing... Oh, there's a power supply, so we don't need a strong one. What's the weakest? I see 550 is so far the weakest. Um, 500. 500's going in. Alright, so all that's missing to this guy is the, the, the processor... Um, let's get a stick of that in there. All right, good. Let's go ahead and look at these guys. And try to, per se, knock them out. Now, we need to double check and make sure that there's no specific requirements. So, we'll let that boot up. You know what? Let's do the bay. Uh, we're going to pass on that. 4 gig. I'm going to pass on that, too. 8 gig, 3,200. We will not pass on that. And a tower, sure. And these are doing quite nicely. And we're going to be adding a new one to the mix. Uh, More power. Deal of the day. Wasn't much of a deal. More power. That's not bad. That's not a problem. 64 gigabytes. Speed doesn't seem important. Royal appointment. Hmm. We'll look at that. Help repairs. So only one build and a lot of repairs. Okay. By royal appointment. A benchmark of 7,000 will be satisfactory. Um, install NZXT H44 Hyper Beast or better. So it's very specific stuff. And then we got to kind of coerce the build around this. Interesting. All right. But let's work on these guys. So this was the replace motherboard. Which is not a problem, but you know what? We'll do this one second, because this one, I think, is just bad memory. Right? Broken memory... In? Booting up. It's booting up okay. The fans are moving. The video card's fan is moving. So I have a feeling... It's not dusty... Let's install some diagnostic stuff to figure out what's going on. And the 3D mark. Alright, well that's going. Let's keep removing parts out of this thing. Yoink. You know, if we have extra money, we could throw in a better, the, uh, an upgraded heatsink. Go ahead and install that. And since we're not getting another AM4 processor, we have another motherboard. I might be inclined to uh, buy two of those cheap processors because we just need to get rid of motherboards. 
Though it's the only used motherboard we have, so maybe I'll wait on that just a wee bit. Probably should. Boot it up. We'll make sure the RAM is set. Didn't matter. Boot it up. And virus scan. Run the scan! It's riddled with prawn! Clear. Now, is it fixed? Okay, so that's all it needed. I don't think this is a good one. Let me take it out. Oh, so we can't replace it. Darn. We could replace it with a better heat sink, we would have. The other option, too, is we can put the new one in the broken... No, I would rather get rid of my used crap. Thank you very much. I'm sitting there trying to justify putting the new one in the rig we're about to fix. Number one, it may not even fit, so we might have to even get it. Do we have a tiny one? I don't think that's a tiny one. Height 66 millimeter. Actually, it might be tiny. That might fit. If it doesn't fit, we're going to have to buy one. And we still had $135 left in the budget. I don't know why that budget's so skewed the way it was to fix it. Run the scan, run the scan, run the run the run the scan. But this guy should be relatively happy. We'll double check and make sure they don't want anything specific. Okay, that's the possessed one. He just cares about having Corsair parts, so we did that. By the appointment, as your queen, it is my duty to take an interest in all things important to my people. One is informed by the one by the royal staff that PC gaming is becoming an increasingly popular pastime, and so it is one's royal duty to properly acquaint oneself. For the best experience, one apparently requires a monster rig. Kindly build one that's up to the royal standards, and the royal warrant will be granted to your business. A benchmark of 7,000 will be satisfactory. One would also very much like to see the finished piece adorned with suitably royal purple lighting. Okay. <laughs> so we need to build a rig for her majesty. Really quick, let's buy that processor. The cheapest one with the best performance would be... Whew. I don't think there's one cheaper than 140. Yeah, so there it is. All right, let's get to it. So we need... And we could go with that, that cooling unit we bought. Let's go with a power supply of... I'd say of 1,000. We could. I mean, well, 300... Okay, so... 300,000 smackaroos, smackarinos is our budget here. So if we're going to do this, we got to be pretty particular to how much we uh, spend. So with 3,000 as our budget, I would say... Well, there, here's 1,000 that's a little cheaper now, but and it's 170, so it's even smaller... That's not bad, actually. It's 1,050 watts. So let's say minus 180. Boom. Storage. Let's go with that one that we're still holding on to. I forget the number that it was. Uh, let me see here. As I drop my calculator slash phone. All right. Let me put this up in a safe place. There we go. All right. So, what storage do we currently sit at? Are we S11, M2? So this one's 130. Oh, minus 130. Graphics card. She wants a 1080 or better. I would say give her the bit. Give her the good one. Give let's give her one of the best ones. 
do, 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 do. Um, is what I'm saying. I'm saying we should go with like this 11 gig beast and just overclock the living hell out of it. So let's add it to there. So that's minus 870. She gives us about 1,820 to go with. Uh, processors, I still think Intel right now is our biggest bang. Well, maybe not our biggest bang for the buck. Let me see here. Parts ranking. We need a pretty good score with one card at our disposal. So let's look at the 2700 and the 1800X, I think. So let's look at those. Um, 2700 is 380. Well, if we're backing off this much on uh, cost, we could do it. Well, this is 8 core. Now, 420. You're starting to jump up really high in price. It's 8 core at 4,000. That's only a $10 difference. Uh, okay, so the big jump is really here. Because these are 8 cores at 3,800. Let's just throw this in here for now. Boom, so minus 380. Puts us at 1440. So cooling will go cheap. We'll go with the one, 33.1. So that's not minus 33 bucks. It's not RGB, but we can do that. We can do this other thing with fans and cases and crap, which I didn't buy a case yet, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, deep cool matrix, so that's another 50. Okay, so that should be in there. Um, so we're good up to memory motherboard. So let's do Ryzen motherboard. So we want stuff with AM4 slots. Thirty six hundred. I don't think we get much higher in speed. Uh, Thirty seven, thirty three, but single GPU. Yeah, so 3600 is the max. So we want to go with the cheapest 3600 multi-card accepting motherboard that does both. I want both. So it's going to be this guy at 165. Bam. Minus 165. Now the only thing that's not accounted for right now is memory. We still have 1192. So there's something to consider here. We could put in two sticks of, let's, what, what was the 3600? Let's go to 3600. Now, there are no 16 gig sticks, as you can see in this range. But what does that mean? Well, what that means is theoretically, we could get another graphics card. Let me, let me try it here. So, minus eight. 70 and now we have 322 bucks to spend so if we go into memory at 3600 we could buy two of these so that's minus 240 with 82 dollars left to spend go to fans we'll look for rgb lighting May as well stick with the deep cool. Well, we need six. And the case itself has one, is light lit up as well. Ooh, is the memory... Maybe we should look at memory with color. And we pay a little bit more. But it would be ultimately cheaper. So let's say 260... So that's two there, three. So we really only need three more light sources. I think the video card also might be a our light source. Let me check here. We need to know. We do need to know this. So yeah, RGB lighting there. Okay. So that's one, two, three. Um, is the graphics card that way? I know it's green. So wait a minute, let me think. The two RAM, the motherboard, 
the tower and the two fans. So yeah, we should be good. But we'll buy three. One, two, three. And that leaves us with exactly two dollars left. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, sweet. Let's see here. Are these these guys are done. And the best part is we get to get rid of some stuff. Stoof. That we accidentally bought. Ugh. I know I did not pay attention to the number on that rig, and I do apologize. But at the same time, I also don't really care that much. I just wanted the fuck out of my shop. So we might order these parts right away, just to kind of end the episode and then build the, that rig and get this one on the market. Um, but let's see what the other rigs need. Um, let's make a save. Um, collect on these guys. So we got the stuff for this. Ram needed. I know, hey, I know I said I needed faster graphics card last time, but it hasn't made a big difference in my FPS. Never mind, can you, can never have too much good hardware. I, what I really need is more RAM. Can you throw some in? This will be my last upgrade now before I get on with revising for my finals. Thanks, Gus Hemshaw. P.S. I looked more into that fresh fruit law and it was repealed back in the 40s, so hey, I guess he's innocent after all. Pfft. All right, what has he got in here? He's actually got, he needs 64 gigs. So he needs 16 gig sticks in here. So they're going to have to be slower speed. But we, we can do that. And at 600 bucks, that's not a problem. We accept. Um, and so it'll just have to be higher speed, but fitted for him. 1080 Ti Mini. Nice. Game Pro. Another motherboard. And... Sticks of RAM, I'm assuming? All right, hey, can you please overclock my PC for me? I want a water cooler, water cooled GPU. Ooh, let's overclock to twenty six eighty three megahertz. Could you get that done? But in ten days, Nvidia components are meant to be the bomb. Is it okay that it's so dusty? Um, no, yeah, that's probably fine. So we got a budget of thirty two thousand, thirty two hundred and fifty bucks, and he's asking for a liquid cooled. Um video card well that means we need to build a liquid cooled system here's what i'm thinking we accept this because we should be able to do it we have the 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 fixings for it um nvidia components are meant to be the bum uh but it might be easier to see the rig in its entirety but we can we can totally do it um water cooled gpus he wants 2683 out of his performance. Um, Radeon Vega 64. So we'll have to fiddle with this, but I, I'm sure it can be done. Uh, and what else is in this rig here? This power supply could be bigger. So that might be a backup thing with extra cash. So we'll have to look at this one. Oh, it overclocked the GPU to 2683. And he wants NVIDIA components. That's a big one. So it would have to be one of these two G-forces here. Is what I'm thinking. Um, is our best bet. Jeez, oh, I don't know. This gets into some weird stuff. Based on trying to figure out what which one would actually work and I'm wondering if I should just wait till it's here but really I don't see the point so here's what we need to do is we need to get our calculator out again okay we're never done with that calculator let's see our his budget is let me clear that the budget is 3250 so if we go with the best possible uh card would be one of these so let's add that that's eight 
805. And then let's look at the other stuff that we need. We need a CPU block. So that's minus 300. A reservoir. Not, since it doesn't say any real data that I can understand that I am familiar with. We'll just probably go with the better one. So that's minus 250. And then a radiator. What kind of case does it look like? That's a big case. Um, I don't think that one will fit. So let's go with this one here. Now we're only at $1,665, so something tells me there's more to this. But I want to say that really all we need to do is get a bigger power supply as well for him. So we, ha we have something to crank this sucker up to. So let's go for the one that's 1050 watt. And then that leaves us with 1485 bucks left over. That just seems so weird that we end up with that. Unless we put in maybe dual cards, but it doesn't say to do that. So we'll leave that alone. Let's order all of this stuff. And instead of doing the Queen's computer today, I guess we'll just do it tomorrow. Um, makes sense to me. Um, so we'll buy it now. And then we'll buy it now with the next day delivery. Okay, so this is all in transit, all going great. Okay, good. Let's shut this computer down. Since we made our money there, shut off the lights. And we'll make it a brand new day. It's going to work. This is for the queen. This dude wanted the water-cooled overclocking GPUs. So we'll start with those and work our way through the rest of it. Before that, though, let's buy this broken PC with a Ryzen 5 6-core, a broken 16 with a good, uh, good uh, processor and a shitty video card, a video card that should burn in a fire, and another broken PC. Nice. With a not-so-bad card, but not necessarily the best. That's a good little find. Three broken PCs in one day, you say? All right. Let's get let's get to work here. Um, wow. A lot of requests. One, two, three, four, five. Woo. Uh, probably one's uh, just an ad or something. Okay. I actually want to work on this guy's first because I have a feeling he's going to be the trickier one that I'm going to have to dick around with a, w a little bit so I want to get this going then get the processor in the other the rig we're going to put on the PC bay going and then we'll be probably good I would assume and we should end up with a lot of it, little neat little parts and actually do something cool with this alright I think we're all cleaned out here gee I don't know I got screwed on the other one um, all right, let's see here. Um, did I not pick up the parts? I did not pick up the parts. That would explain why I could not find said parts. Um, do, 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 do. now I just say we put it up here. And the reservoir somehow. Oh, okay. I see where it is. Can go there. The CPU block there. And let's put in the beast. 
supposed beast. And now let's do us some piping. I was going to change the power supply, wasn't I? Something's not connected right. Figure it out in a minute. Once I get the power supply in there. We know the power supply is a dis definitive upgrade. Oh, what? You're really going to make me do that? I guess we didn't need to put in the CPU cooled upper area, but fuck. You would think that that would be relevant because it would still help with your performance. Let's put this stuff on. Which means I'm sitting on a $300 piece of equipment that I can't use anytime soon. So let's power this off because I'm pretty 90% sure it's not going to let me... It's not going to let me do this unless... There we go. Get the ram at the right speed. All right, Her Majesty's rig. I have a feeling I didn't buy the right power supply to, or the right case. I don't know, it does fit, cool. Now I don't feel as bad. All right, checking for prawn. Looks good. Jack that sucker all the way, baby. So that says 2683. So this, this card's not going to make it. Okay, we're going to run into this kind of crap. This is the stuff that's going to annoy me to no end. Because this card doesn't clearly doesn't make it. And it has to be an NVIDIA. We should have gotten it, right? In theory. So, really quick, I'm wondering if I should reload. But, hmm. A part of me is kind of like no, but the other part of me is kind of like yeah. Because... What in the cooling GPUs is going to get us to that high, that performance? Because some of these numbers are like abysmally low in NVIDIA. So, this is my beef. Because we spent 805 bucks on this thing. There isn't, I don't think the water cooled stuff is in here. In the parts ranking, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think the water-cooled stuff is really in here. So it becomes a question of... Yeah, I don't see it. We should already see it. So how do you get those numbers? How do you get that that high performance? And it's probably... 
a matter of one of these ra one of these cards goes that high, but we just don't know which one. I mean, I, there's another there's a 1070 here that we could try it with. So let's try it with the other one that we have. We got to 1400 on the one that we were looking at, right? So let's see what happens when we use this one. Even though this is probably a lesser card. Give that a second. Hate to continue another rig if I'm I might have to reload and then kind of figure out what's going on. Cause you they want a water cool system with this very specific performance, but that performance is near near impossible. Based on what they're asking. So it makes me wonder is it even possible? Twenty six eighty three. Still twenty four hundred, even if I jacked that all the way up. Not even close. So I I just don't really get it. And that was even in the 2000 for the memory frequency and we couldn't even get it above 2500. So yeah, there's something up with with this and I need to probably sit down and try to figure that out. So anyway, when we come back, I'll actually have troubleshooted this, and I'll explain my findings if it's possible, but we have to finish this in nine days. So there's got to be a solution that I'm just not quite sure what, what it is. Um, and I don't want to just drop, like, a whole thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into a liquid-cooled system and tr to troubleshoot it when we could just reload and fiddle around with it more and try to figure out what the hell's going on. Because there's a lot of weird things going on that we need answers for, and this game's not going to... Just hand them out to us. So, anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my uh, Twitch page at twitch.tv slash Studios for live gaming action and other things. And when we come back, I'll try to troubleshoot what's going on. Like I said, I'll try to troubleshoot it because we can't put on a uh, the heat sink either. So that's a $300, $300 wasted as well. So we have to figure out what it is with the liquid cool graphics cards in order to get the GPU to the number that we need. So anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching. And while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.